the last test of the year for these two teams it has become a very special one there is no doubt that Fabien Galtier's side are building up ahead of steam but tonight should be a real test France are hoping for an autumn clean sweep their last win against the Kiwis came 12 years ago now these clashes do not come around very often this is to be savoured France make five changes to the team that started against Georgia in the front row Malbaca he's done well off the bench over the last two weekends with Julian Marchand injured he gets to start the season another injury to Macaluse's Francois Cross restored to the back row the big call the return to the number 10 shirt of Romain Entemac Jonathan Dante into the centre a return on the wing for Gabin Villiers Well, last weekend's result demanded change. There are seven alterations to tonight's All Blacks team compared to Dublin. Dane Coles preferred to Cody Taylor and Cooker. Both flanker positions are refreshed. Akira Yoare and Sam Kane brought in. Four of the changes are in the backs, including the well-drilled half-back pairing of Aaron Smith and Richie Mwanga. Quinn Tupaya is brought in at 12. George Bridge starts on the left wing. The France line-out's been very good over the past couple of weekends. First test for Malbaca. New Zealand trying to drop the anchor here. Villiers joins the heave. The ball with Malbaca. Still France edge closer. And they reach for the line. Two minutes in. The opening try for France. What an autumn series Movaka is having. It's his fourth try over three weekends. What a start. What a dream start. Look at Pietro Movaka. You know, tip of the toe of the, of the fingers from Cameron Wookie to get that ball in front of Whitelock. Then you, you build up that driving ball. But the decision making is spot on. Do I leave? Do I listen to the nine? The pressure is absolutely on. Brody Retalic, Sam Watlock were causing a lot of pressure. He just decided to extend that right arm at the right time. Ntomac. Gemini. Tackled by George Bridge. Antonio. Born in New Zealand up against his native country tonight. Dante, Pedro just bounces off the tackle. Not much support on his shoulder for Damien Pedro. He looked, but there was no one there. First time really in the game, though, we've seen Pedro with ball in hand. And a reminder of what a threat he is. Dupont, Woki. Fiku back inside the New Zealand 22 France might have numbers out wide here they have an advantage coming their way Villiers 10 metres from the line Ntomak goes for it and it's in two French tries inside 12 minutes it's the electrifying, free-flowing French rugby we've all come to see. Entermac off his right. That's what he does from fly half. You show him, you, you get your body, half a body too far across him, he will skin you on the inside. Superb stuff. Loki the target once again. Can France turn the screw? Movaka! Oh, incredible! What an autumn he's having! It's five tries now in three games. Beata Movaka had never scored an international try a fortnight ago. He cannot stop scoring them now.
It's a great play organized by Cameron Woki, dummying at the back, refolding the front part in the front to try to surprise the All Blacks defense. It is a penalty advantage. You free bind, don't go off your feet. Laulala, Severe, Willemser and Alterit drag him down. France sniff a turnover. Tupaya, very close now. Retallick tries to dig it out. Smith. In the corner is Barrett. New Zealand celebrate the try that they hope is going to springboard them back into this game. Great spotting by Aaron Smith, corner of his eye, lightning pass. Damian Pono just getting caught a little bit too tight. You've got to be exactly in front of your man, not leaving him just the outside shoulder, so close to the line. And Dupont got barreled out of it there. Turnover for New Zealand. Reiko Ayane, two outside him. He won't need either. He puts his foot to the floor, and it's two tries back to back for New Zealand. You never write them off. And France's lead is dramatically shortened. Reiko Ayane, his 32nd international try. Iwan is too fast. Fast enough to play wing, easy. As soon as Villiers turns his back, book, he's dead. Four minutes between the two New Zealand tries. Rico Ayari has now scored six international tries against France in his career. Tokaho. Sevilla over the line. Ari Savea, another super powerful pick and go who manages to ground the ball. That was rehearsed to Dante, but he wasn't able to receive. Now we know how dangerous New Zealand are on the counter attack. Excellent hands from Quint Tupaya. Rico Ayari, kicked on by Barrett, two in pursuit. Dupont needs pace here. And Tamak. How brave! Oh. Oh. Wow! Jaminé! Dupont wants it! From one end of the pitch to the other! France bear down on New Zealand's 22! Villiers presents it back, there are numbers out the other side! Intermac! Woki! Pino outside him! Woki dragged down seven metres from the line. There's an advantage coming France's way. Sevea's going to be sent to the sin bin. Nardi Sevea completely off the ball, hands on the floor. Pressure now on Jalibert. Dante. That's why he's in the team today for those crash balls, but he wasn't able to hold it. Pino has stolen it! Damien Pino! The roof nearly comes off the Stade de France. Like candy from a baby, Pino stolen, a careless pass punished. Back in 2018 2019, France won back to back under 20 world championships. They were hailed as maybe being a golden generation. We are now seeing many of those youngsters. Really, it feels like graduation tonight. 
Jemba Bamba. Penalty to France again. 30 seconds till the clock goes red. Fabian Galte receives the hugs. No way back for New Zealand now. There's got to be some party in Paris tonight. If this goes over, France go to 40 points. The only time they have scored 40 points against New Zealand in the past was the famous semi-final in 1999. Jamine for the victory! France have beaten the All Blacks for the first time since 2009. The first time in 21 years to the week since France last beat the All Blacks on French soil. And a first win over New Zealand here in Paris since 1973. 12 wins in 13 tests at home for France. They delivered it in style.